Today we're going to go over sector area and these notes will be very similar to the 10-1 notes because you do everything the exact same except instead of using circumference we're going to use area. Our essential question is how could knowing how to find sector area be useful? Now I'm going to draw a circle and show you the, um, for lack of a better word, formula, but it will look very, very similar to um, arc length. So here's an example circle and um, our formula. Um, the only thing that is different about sector area formula rather than arc length formula is this right here. It uses the area formula instead of the circumference formula. So let's do some examples. This is actually the exact same example that we had on the 10.1 notes, except this time we're gonna be finding the area. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and fill in the stuff that we already found out from 10.1. Okay, so um, we had found that since this is 57, this is 57. And since all of this should be 180, which is a semicircle, we did 180 minus 90 minus 57 and found that this was 33. And then we're going to need um, the measure of yxz. So we added uh, 57 plus 90 plus 33 plus 57 and found it was 237. And of course our radius is three inches. So now let's set up our problem. We still do part over whole, so the degree that we're looking at. And I did fill this in with green because that will be the first sector area we're looking at. So it will be 57 over the entire circle, which is 360, is equal to, and we're trying to find the area of that sector. We don't know what it is. Over pi and then r squared, so three and then squared and you do the same thing, you cross multiply and solve. So cross multiply. So now we're doing 57 times three squared, which is 513 pi, don't forget your pi. And then you divide both sides by 360. Um, you wanna put this in your calculator and hit math enter enter to reduce. So 513 divided by 360, and it gives me a decimal, so then we hit math, enter, enter. And it's 57 pi over 40. 57 pi over 40, or, and yes, my fourth and fifth period have to give me both of these, the rest of you can pick one, um, times pi, which is 4.48. and our units are inches, and since we are finding area, they need to be squared. Area is two-dimensional, so you need to show that in your units. And we're done with that problem. Now we need to find the area of yxz. We already found that our degree is 237 over the whole, which is 360 degrees. Um, we're finding this part so I put, um, I highlighted the orange area, which is the area we're trying to find, all over pi and then r squared, which my radius is three. And then we cross multiply, 237 times three squared is 2133. Don't forget your pi. Divide 360 on both sides. Reduce it in your calculator using math enter enter. 237 divided by 40, so 237 pi divided by 40. Uh, multiply by pi to get the estimated answer. So 18.61 inches squared. Now we're going to go to the back page and do percentage problems using area. So this is the same problem from 10.1. Um, the only difference is now we're using area instead of circumference. Um, so since it's the same one, the percentage taken up by everything except for grass was actually 37%. So we're going to set up our equation. And now we just want to cross multiply and solve. And 37 times 23 squared is 19,573. Don't forget your pi, divide both sides by 100. And you need to try to clean that ugly fraction up by using math enter enter. 
Unfortunately, this one doesn't. So that will be our ugly fraction as our answer. Multiply that times pi to get your estimated answer, which gives us 614.90 or 614.9. And don't forget that we're in feet and it is squared because it's area. Now we need to set up our formula for the second problem. And if we're looking at grass only, that's 63%. Now we need to cross multiply. And 63 times 23 squared is 33,327 pi. Divide both sides by 100 and see if you can reduce that fraction. Unfortunately for this problem as well, it cannot reduce. So we're going to leave it in the ugly fraction and then we need to figure out what our estimated number is. And when we multiply the fraction times pi, it gives us 1046.99, but this rounds. So that really will round all of it up to 1047. Don't forget that your feet is squared and go down to the bottom, write your summary, and we are done.